Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. If you like, press the like button. If you subscribe, I appreciate it so greatly. Thank you so much. Uh, let's get started here with what Trump is facing right now. Uh, that lady, boy, she really let him have it. <laughs> she, she read off a whole lot of charges against that boy. I'll tell you what now. Let's listen to what this says right here. And then I will come back on. For helping to launch this three-year investigation. I will remind everyone that this investigation only started after Michael Cohen, the former lawyer, his former lawyer, testified before Congress and shed light on this misconduct. And the remedies are consistent with what we have sought for other businesses that committed the same misconduct. Joining us now is the former personal attorney of Donald Trump, Michael Cohen. Uh, Michael, great to have you here. Good to see you. Okay, so she gave you credit that you launched this investigation. I remember when you, we all do, when you testified in front of Congress and said that there was a lot of fudging of the numbers going on. Did you know the scope of it? Did you know that there were 200 false or misleading statements about his assets over the years? There may have been two or three that I wasn't aware of, but the rest I was. And these were part of the topics that I spoke with, not only the Attorney General, not only the District Attorney, but seven different congressional committees. I mean, I just got to say, thank God for Tish James. She's tenacious. She's ferocious. She's what every single attorney general should be like, and I give her the absolute greatest of, um, of props. Uh, Donald Trump is at the center of a web of investigations. We can put it up on the screen just to show how many. But this investigation, what was announced today, uh, the uh, valuations, what it goes to, the specific uh, image of Donald Trump, what do you think this means to him? Well, to his image, it's a complete destruction. I mean, it's like a, um, <laughs> a nuclear bomb exploded. The man has a fragile ego, which we all know he's, his entire life is predicated on his net worth and him portraying himself as this wonderful businessman, this massive success, this incredibly wealthy guy. And what do we know? We know that it's not true. We know that, and I've been saying this now for years, <laughs> that this is um, an inflation of his assets and then, of course, taking them, deflating them for tax purpose. I do just want to say in your opening, you said that she's suing for $250 million. That's the baseline that she's going after. I suspect it'll be somewhere to three to four times that amount at the end of the day. Michael, can you just take us in the room with Donald Trump when he is claiming that his apartment is 30,000 square feet? But it is clearly 10,000 square feet. But he is filling out the paperwork and claiming that it's three times the size. Do you or does anyone in that room tell the emperor he has no clothes? Like, what? how does he do that? What's that conversation? Right. Uh, you don't tell the emperor that he's naked. Otherwise, you lose your job on the spot. It wasn't specific to, hey, let's just look at this. It's 33,000 you know, square feet when it's actually 11 or 10. What he would do is he would say, my apartment is worth $375 million. So Alan Weisselberg and I, we would write down that number in red, and then we would use that in order to back into the number that he wanted, which was a number to increase his net worth from literally, and this is true. I sat in the office once. He went from raising it to $6 billion, No, 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 I'm actually richer than that. Brought it to $7.5 billion to nine, to ten, in a period of 60 seconds. He's made more money than anybody in that short span of time, you know, ever. And while that's happening, you're just watching him, you're just sitting there going, okay, sure. Listen, I was tasked to figure out how to back the numbers using his assets into what he wanted. There was no, and there is no telling him, no. And that's also a problem that we saw during his administration. We are familiar, obviously, with the Trumps here, with the Trump Organization, Alan Weisselberg, over the last couple of years. Jeffrey McConey, uh, who is he? How integral is he? So Jeff McConey is an assistant controller. How integral is he? As I would like to say, so Donald Trump, if we were going to put this into perspective, Donald Trump is the bank. He's the president of the bank. And then you have the branch um, manager would be Alan Weisselberg, and Jeff McConey would be the teller. That's how it worked. So whatever you had first went to Alan. Alan would give it to Jeff to book, but it would have to be signed off by Donald. 
in order for this thing to become effective. So that's why when I always say that Donald knew everything about everything going on at the Trump Organization. How about his kid? Well, I suppose he would know everything. That's one thing you want to do when you have a business and a family is to know everything, you know. But uh, that's kind of uh, mind-boggling. But <clears throat> what landlord, like she said, you know, uh, the lady that gave that speech, uh, he's not the only one that does this, you know that is in business, owns property, they're going to up that property as high as they can up it. And if someone comes along and says, okay, I agree with that price, that's a good price, but that land has been evaluated, so the person that's buying that land, can't they look at the evaluation of the wherever guy come, you know, to get the land evaluated, don't they get to see those figures? And that would tell them right there, well, hey, you know, he's trying to gouge me. He's trying to get in my billfold and gouge me. Or can't those uh, documents be seen by the buyer? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, oh, I'll tell you. Well, he can sure, he knows how to run a country. But if he did wrong, but you know now, this is not criminal charges. No, they're not, they're not criminal charges brought against Trump. No. He will be fined at the most. I'm sure of that. <clears throat> what this gentleman here just said, uh, Michael Cohen. But um, uh, I can't remember what they call it, but there's no charges. Even though it falls under the category of really defrauding the buyer, upping the feet, uh, how uh, <clears throat> much feet or how large the room is or the apartment is or whatever, and then him saying, oh, well, no, I'm richer than that, you know, and that is fraud. You know, that's, that's taking advantage of people and their money just to make him rich. Uh, you know, that's that's not right. Mm -mm. That's not right. <clears throat> he should not have done that. Excuse me. <clears throat> I got a frog in my throat. But anyway. Uh, now this here, and I didn't get to do too much of it. I can get my tablet here. Um... <clears throat> Putin, I call it, is on a rampage. Okay, that's what I call it. I don't know what anybody else would call it. But he has issued a draft. Yeah, for anybody that can fight that's of age, maybe not of age. I think I, I, think I reported that once before in another video that I read where uh, he didn't care, you know. If you can fight and hold a gun... I'm going to get you, you know, you're, you're going in my army and you're going to fight. Yeah, he wants thousands more fighters in his army. Yeah, he, he's just getting ready for something. I don't know what. <clears throat> and uh, Putin says, if anybody attacks Russia, you will be sorry. Yeah, you will be sorry. Our weapons are greater. What does he mean by that? More explosive bombs, gas bombs, killer bombs, same thing as gas bombs. Wipe you out. The minute you take one whiff of it, you're done. Yeah, <clears throat> I don't know. And then China chimes in and says, you better respect us. United States you better respect us and of course up here Putin says America is at fault for him having to get more people in his army more killers to kill more people 
and he's going back after that country he's fuming mad at them because they got part of his property you know they won that one section uh, well he ain't happy about it and he's going back and get them now you know with all this stuff I have to agree to just one little thing Biden had no business sticking his nose in their business and God love the people of that country and I'm so sad for the loss of their loved ones and their children and their babies and oh dear Lord Jesus you know but that's Putin's fault that's not ours you know that that happens all the time everywhere in the world Biden should have kept his damn nose out of it it wasn't his place it was none of our business the fight between them and that other country so when you stick your nose in somebody else's business and you don't know the facts and then you yak it to somebody else you yak it to this person over here and this person over here and this person over there you know it's none of your business what's going on in somebody else's life unless you can save a life like if somebody's being attacked then go ahead and try to help them you know if they're having being stabbed or shot you know but when you come to a big country and they're in and combined with another country into a fight into a war keep your nose out of it we didn't belong in there and Biden keeps going now. Oh, yeah, he's going to support, um, is it Venezuela? I think I read today where he's going to, uh, he's going to, uh, yeah, I put that in another video. Yeah, he's got their backs. Uh, we're going to go to war to, per to join them in their fight now against another country. Oh. Uh. I don't know about you, but I imagine you're a lot like me. <clears throat> we need to get rid of Biden. He's going to get us all killed. You know, he can't keep his nose to home. And look at all the billions and billions and billions of dollars that we could have used to help our people, help our country. But anyway, that's just here nor there, I guess. Just something we've got to put up with. The midterms are coming up. But can you picture us going through another two years of this crap? We might not even be here. The way things are going right now, and he's got his nose stuck and everything all over the place. Who's to know? Only God knows if we'll still be here. All we can do is pray. That's all we can do. Now there was something else that I was going to bring up and now I can't remember exactly what it was. And like I said, I got a blank piece of paper. I forgot to put down the notes, I guess. I read so much and I get it in my head, but then when I go to write it down, it's not what I wanted to put out of my head on paper if you get what I mean <laughs> and um, I sent the package back by the way it finally I got my sticker for my package of my ink for my printer to where I can print out articles and read off of them it would be more explanatory to you people so you understand Paisley get down honey now go lay down you can get up there. She don't have your blankie. Forgive me. I have a little dog here. It's got a problem. Angel's on her blankie. And that is a no-no. Okay, folks. Well, I'm going on 15 minutes. So I'm going to cut off here, take a break, and then I will be back later with another video. Try to understand all this mess. Stay safe. Say your prayers. 
that's all we've got. I'll see you in a little bit. Bye-bye.